A key topic for this class is going to be understanding the electromagnetic spectrum. And we'll go through this in detail, but just to give you an idea, the electromagnetic spectrum includes all the sort of electromagnetic energy that can move through space, things like radio waves and microwaves um, at the longer wavelengths, and X-rays and gamma rays at the shorter wavelengths, and right in the middle of that is, uh, in this diagram, is the visible light that we see. So we'll talk about how we can measure different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum separately, and then how we can display and analyze that data as remote sensing imagery once we, um, once we have that. In order to collect that data, we'll need some sort of platform, some sort of um, vehicle in the air, in, in order to take uh, images of the ground. These are some early historical platforms that were used, things like kites and uh, early airplanes, carrier pigeons and, uh, and hot air balloons. All of these things were used to take pictures of the ground from the air. Of course, nowadays we're more sophisticated than that. A lot of our platforms that we use today are satellite platforms. And this just shows examples of a lot of the satellites that are in orbit around the Earth. And um, we have so many of these for a lot of different reasons, including they're um, recording different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum and, um, and for other reasons. The one we'll really focus on in this class is the Landsat platform. Um, Landsat has been around since Landsat 1 in the early 1970s. But um, the data that you'll be using for the labs in this class is from Landsat 8, which was um, launched in 2013. So much of the information you'll be seeing is fairly recent information, fairly recent um, images of the ground that were collected with Landsat 8. And this is what you'll be using in order to display and interpret remote sensing imagery in this class.